Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP NV X360 laptop. These exact models are M6-AQ105DX. Also, uh, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can boost up the performance for these ones because they do come up with a good processor which is an iCore 7 or iCore 5 but the problem with this laptop is that they, sh they are shipped out with a uh, mechanical drive, not an SSD and the mechanical drive is pretty much a bottleneck towards this processor so pretty much you're not taking advantage of the processor with a mechanical drive in here so in order to take the advantage I would recommend you guys to purchase a good uh, SSDs not like a, one of these ones these are the clients always buy these ones because they are really cheap but I do not recommend this one I would recommend you guys to grab any Samsung brand or Crucial brand which are good but in this video I'm going to show you guys how to install these SSDs and what's the process also you can instead of installing a normal ssd like this one you can install an m.2 ssd so you can keep your mechanical drive in here as a second storage the m.2 ssds they become just like this i'll leave the link in the description and i'm going to show you guys how to install this m.2 ssds first thing first and uh, let me declare something that this process applies for any m6 aq models so any MQ AQ model series, this works for you guys too. All right, first thing first, you wanna flip over the laptop upside down. You're gonna grab a few tools. Tool number one is a screwdriver set. I recommend you guys to grab the iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. These are S2 class steel. You're gonna be using a Torque number five and Phillips number one. You will need an opening tool. For the opening tool, we're going to be using a guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick. Or you can grab the Pro Set uh, version of this screwdriver set, which they will include you a proper opening tool and some tweezers. All right, so what are we going to do right now? Uh, at the bottom here, bottom cover, there should be a rubber legs on the back corner, but this one is already being fall up and they lost it. So you want to grab your opening tool and stick it right under the rubber cover and just lift it up remove it. it has a little adhesive to it so grab it and remove them the front ones you don't need to remove and this one is already again is the just lost it i guess and now you're going to see a one screw in here and one screw right on the other one you're going to remove these two phillips square screws you can attach a magnet on the side of your screwdriver to pull this ones out faster next we're gonna switch to a torque number five and we're gonna remove the two mid back and the four in the front end of the laptop i also realized that there is only one person of my viewers that subscribe to my channel if you guys want to support the uh, channel if you find my content helpful and helping you guys out you can just support me by clicking like and subscribing to my channel. It will be a great, great tremendous help and support. I really appreciate it. All right, now that we remove the screws, all the screws are the same size and height except the two black ones under the rubber legs. Once you have everything removed up, we're going to grab the opening tool and we're going to open up the laptop a little bit. And we're gonna stick the guitar pick opening tool between the top and the bottom cover. Just like that, squeeze it right there. And twist it backward towards the screen until you hear a click. You wanna hear those big, huge clicks. Do the front end, do the sides all the way to the back corner. Make sure it gets really tough sometimes, but don't worry, you need to bend it real hard to do it all the way to the corner back once you did that just open do the back end by the grill you want to hit it on the top side and you want to remove it remember when you want to pull it up it will be really hard to pull it up because there's a tiny hooks in the middle here so you have to grab it, grab it real hard and pull it up real hard so in order to release these hooks right there when you remove the bottom cover 
and then you can see the hard drive right in here and the M.2 drive is right over here they do not give you the screw but I will leave the link in the video description for the screw set for these ones now to do the upgrade for the hard drive or SSD you don't need to remove the battery if you want to remove the battery just pull this jack backward and the battery will get disconnected now first let's go ahead with do the one with the M.2 let's say you want to format this one and keep this one terabyte as storage as a secondary space in your heart in your laptop so you can install your windows on the m.2 drive simply you want to grab the m.2 drive bring it in 45 degree angle slide it all the way towards the jack and then bring it down towards the make sure it matches right snugly between the screw hole and then grab the screw put it right on top and that's how you install the m.2 uh, drives okay that's one now if you want to grab it and replace it with an ssd your mechanical drive or if you want to upgrade this one again it's really easy all you need to do is remove one two screws right on the caddy the caddy is what holds the hard drive in place so go ahead and remove these two screws one right there and one right over here Once you remove the screws, just go ahead and lift it up slowly, gently. There's a flex cable right there. You don't want to yank on it. So what you need to do is to disconnect this flex cable here. So just put your finger right beside it here and detach this adapter. There we go. So this way I don't have to pull out this flex cable from there. But it actually it has a little adhesive to it. You can use a tweezer to bring it out. Just grab it from the cable. Don't grab it from the adapter. And detach it right from here. And it will come out. Just like that. Now, again, this is an HGST brand, which is brand being bought up by Western Digital. This is a one terabyte, 77,200 RPM. Is that actually a little bit faster than normal hard drives? So in order to put the SSD in here, you need to remove this caddy, detach it. There's a two screws on each side, one, two, one, two. And remember the orientation of the SATA connectors and the power connectors right in here. So you don't want to put your SSD the other way around, otherwise, is not going to match the adapter position so make sure it has to go like this so remove two screw from here remove two screw from here and switch the places there we go now you simply want to grab it out in the same position put it to one side and open up your new ssd drive and put it in the same position that you removed the other one and put down the screws for them the screw holes should match just fine all right once we have the caddy ready with the hard drive in here so grab the adapter and plug it in there and move it gently to the position Put it right in place and put the two screws to hold the hard drive caddy on the uh, chassis. Also remember now that once we turn on the laptop, there's not going to be any operating system. It will tell you a message that there's no boot drive available. Then that means you have to install the Windows freshly installed from here. I did make a video how to create your Windows 10 boot drive, boot CD, thumb drive. I mean boot thumb drive and I uh, made another video how to install them on an HP laptops you can follow my installation guides on any of my Windows 10 installation and they are all the same and in this video I'm going to show you guys quickly how to boot it up from the, your USB Windows 10 and the process of installation is the same for any other videos that I made so grab the bottom cover bring it over if you have disconnected the battery plug it back in Align the cover on top, push the corners real hard, 
the front make sure you hit those clicks the back and the middle too so you hit that clicks in in the middle those clips press the corner back and the last thing would be to grab the two screws for the hinges And the rest of the screws with a torque number five, I believe it was five. Yeah, torque number five, place it all over the bottom cover. I'm just gonna cut it short and show you guys how to boot it up from a USB drive. So let me get the charger. So what you wanna do first, first plug in the charger, grab your USB drive, plug it in in there. Let me turn off one of the lights. Now, as soon as you turn on, if you have disconnected the battery, you will get a message that's saying the, something about the regarding the battery. So you power it on and you keep pressing escape. Tap on escape. Battery, all the battery storage capacity. The battery is running low, so press enter. Keep pressing escape. I pressed enter, I believe. I keep tapping escape because the battery, internal battery is is almost dead, so it's recommending you guys to change. You might not see that message, but you will see this message will tell you F1 for system diagnostic, F2 for diagnostic, F9 for boot device option. So you're gonna choose F9. Let me see which one is my F9 right here. And then you're gonna get an option to boot from the USB drive. So you're gonna click enter from your USB drive. And it's gonna boot through the USB drive right now and it's gonna take you to the Windows 10 installation menu. And you can follow the steps. Within 10 minutes, you should have your Windows installed and ready to go. So don't worry about it. Now it's gonna start reading the USB. I'm just gonna wait to see the installation principle here. There it is. Language, US, and everything else. And you can click next, next, and then format and install. So I can just click next and next. It's really simple and I made a proper way of what options you need to choose. So make sure you follow my other video on how you install them. All right, I'm just gonna shut it down and that's terms and services. So keep the power on button for five seconds so you can shut it down. And that should be all. And that's how you upgrade your hard drive or add an extra hard drive if you want to on your HP laptop. I hope you guys liked this video and it helped you guys out. If it did, please click that like button and think about subscribing. If you have any requests or questions, feel free to leave them in a video comment area and I'll always try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.